from evil spirits and destructive demons to the legendary Sphinx and the Wendigo. Here are 14 of the most bizarre beasts from myth and folklore. Rompo. Legends from India and Africa say that this beast emerges to feed only on human corpses. At about three feet or one meter, it's described as displaying the physical traits of several different animals. That includes a skeletal body with badger-like arms, the hindquarters of a bear, and human ears mounted on a rabbit-like noggin. It's said to make a soft crooning sound as it eats human carrion, which is its only food source. Some sources think this legendary beast might be connected to sightings of old world porcupines. Leshy. Known as a male forest spirit, this creature originates in Slavic folklore. It will often appear as a tall, pale-skinned man, with hair and a beard composed of vines and grass. But he's sometimes depicted as having hooves, horns, and a tail. Often seen in the company of bears and gray wolves, the leshy is thought to protect wild animals and trees. In fact, the creature can also assume the shape of plant life, ranging from a blade of grass to towering trees. While some accounts describe them as mischievous, other accounts offer a darker perspective. The Leshy is said to enjoy luring human travelers to their caves, where the victims are tickled to death. Namazu this giant catfish is said to exist in the mud underneath the Japanese islands and is held accountable for causing earthquakes. Other stories claim Namazu lives under the earth, where it swims through underwater seas and rivers, causing destruction as it travels. It is subdued by the thunder god Kashima, who uses a stone to restrain the catfish. Some sources think the mythical Namazu could be linked to a long-held notion that catfish will become active just before an earthquake strikes. When people in ancient times observed this activity, they reasoned that the quakes were related to humongous catfish, or so the story goes. What do you think? Garuda this bird-like creature appears in Buddhist, Hindu, and Jain mythologies. Known as the vehicle of the Hindu god Vishnu, he's also regarded as the king of all birds and is the enemy of all snakes. He's either depicted as a giant bird with open wings or as a man with wings and bird-like features. That includes huge talons and a formidable beak of a bird of prey. Garuda is a powerful predator figure who can swiftly travel anywhere. In the ancient Indian epics, his wings flap powerfully enough to stop the earth from spinning. Did you know Garuda appears in the state insignia of many countries, including Thailand and Indonesia? The Indian Air Force uses him in their coat of arms. The Volpertinger this creature is found in German folklore and inhabits the Bavarian Alpine forests. Accounts vary, but the beast is said to exhibit the body of a squirrel, the legs of a pheasant, a rabbit's head, wings, and antlers of a deer. The animal resembles others found in folklore, such as the American jackalope, which resembles a jackrabbit with horns of an antelope. It shares some similarities with the Elwidrich, which is an animal that resembles a chicken with antlers. Today, stuffed animal versions of the Volpertinger are sold as souvenirs, and the creature is on permanent display at the German Hunting and Fishing Museum in Munich. The Toad Monster there are a few variations on this creature that was worshipped through pre-Columbian Mesoamerica. Known as Tualtecuhtli, some sources say the Aztecs viewed it as a monster that formed the basis of their story of creation. While it could be interpreted as male or female, most accounts refer to it as an earth goddess that was identified with fertility. Interpreted as a type of toad monster with an enormous mouth, fangs, and clawed feet, she was thought to require regular blood sacrifices. That was the only way to maintain the world's order, since she was believed to be the source of all living things. And maybe she still is. In 2006, a massive monument to this deity was excavated in the center of Mexico City that weighed some 24,000 pounds, or 11 metric tons. It's one of the largest Aztec monoliths yet recovered. The Tatzil Worm We'll venture into cryptid territory for this one, even though it's also regarded as a myth. It's also called the Alps Dragon. It has allegedly occurred for centuries in the Swiss, Italian, and Bavarian Alps, among other regions. Descriptions vary by account, but it's typically said to be a serpentine lizard-like creature, covered in scales and measuring up to seven feet long. It can have a cat-like face and four short limbs. The first sighting of this beast is thought to have happened in 1680, but creatures with similar physical traits have been observed earlier than that. While sightings continued over the centuries, no definitive proof of this beast's existence has yet been found, but rumors of it still persist. It was once considered real enough to be listed in a 19th century Bavarian hunting manual. 
do you think it really exists? The Nuklavi. The Orkney Islands of Scotland is where you'll find this mythical demon, but its origins are traced to Norse mythology. This creature is said to have qualities that are human and horse-like, and it's said to be the most reviled demon in all of the Northern Isles. Its mere breath can damage crops and livestock, and even though it mostly dwells in the sea, it has been blamed for droughts and epidemics that have occurred on land. It's usually described as having a huge horse-like head with a single crimson eye, and a large mouth that exudes a poison poisonous vapor. The torso of a human male is also attached like a rider to the horse's back and has arms but no legs. Due to its lack of skin, it's sometimes called the skinless centaur. If one of these things ever chases you, remember that it cannot tolerate fresh water. People have managed to escape this monster by crossing streams or rivers. The Basilisk According to European legend, this reptile is often referred to as the King of the Serpents due to a crown-shaped crest on its head, and a single glance from its eyes is enough to kill you. One of the earliest accounts of this creature dates to around 79 CE, where it was described as resembling a cow. More often, the monster is described as something of a hybrid. It has a snake-like tail, with a body that has legs, a head, and wings of a cockatrice. That's a bipedal, dragon-like creature with the head of a rooster. The basilisk is said to leave a wide trail of poison in its wake, making it easy to spot the beast's den. That's because all the vegetation around it has been scorched by the toxin. There's only one creature said to be immune to the basilisk's deadly gaze, and that is the weasel. The Bonacan. This legendary creature lived in Europe and Asia, and is said to resemble a bison, albeit one with a horse-like mane and horns that curve inward. The creature appears during the Middle Ages in bestiaries or fables, where it's described as having reddish-brown to black fur. Because its horns were ineffective for fighting, the beast developed a unique way to defend itself. When threatened, the creature would fire huge chunks of dung at its attackers, at a distance of more than 600 meters. The dung was said to scorch its victims with fire, enabling the bonacan enough time to make an escape. The Echidna you might be familiar with an animal called the echidna. It's a medium-sized mammal native to Australia and New Guinea that resembles a porcupine or hedgehog. But those echidnas were actually named for this echidna, which appears in Greek mythology. It was a creature that was half woman and half snake. While she may not sound so scary on her own, she played a vital part in producing several scary beasts found in Greek mythology. That includes Cerberus, the Hydra, and the Chimera, among other monstrosities. But why is it the namesake to the modern-day animal? Those critters are mono Dreams, or one of the few mammals that lay eggs. Because of that, they were viewed as being creatures that were part mammal and part reptile, not unlike its mythical counterpart. Orang Bati According to Indonesian folklore, these are flying creatures that exhibit the characteristics of bats and apes. In fact, they've been referred to as orangutans with wings. They're said to inhabit the island of Serum, and are known to raid villages at night to abduct children as a food source. In the 15th century, missionaries on the island reported encountering the beasts. Natives say the creatures are about five feet tall, or one and a half meters, with blood-red skin, black leathery wings, and a long tail. Some researchers think the orang bati sounds like they could could have been living pterosaurs, even though the flying reptiles have long been extinct. It's also possible that the creature could have been a misidentified large flying fox. Those are the largest bats in the world. The Sphinx Mention this name and you'll probably think of Egypt's Great Sphinx of Giza. In Greek mythology, the Sphinx had the haunches of a lion, the head of a woman, and bird-like wings. By most accounts, this is a merciless and treacherous creature, which is known for offering riddles to travelers before they can proceed. Those who cannot answer her riddle are typically killed and eaten. The Egyptian version differs in that the Sphinx is male and is usually viewed as benevolent. Both types of Sphinxes possessed tremendous strength and often guarded temple entrances, while the Egyptian Sphinx Sphinx is probably the best known depiction, it's not the oldest. That was found in Turkey and dates to around 9,500 BCE. Number 1. The Wendigo this creature is described as a cannibalistic monster, or evil spirit, that is native to the northern Atlantic coast of the United States and Canada. It's typically associated with thick forested habitats and cold winter weather. The Wendigo can appear in two manifestations. It can look like a monster with human physical traits, or it can look like a spirit that took possession of a human and transformed them into a monstrosity. Many accounts describe the beasts as ashy gray creatures that stand 14 feet tall, or 4.3 meters, and appear like giant 
giant living skeletons. The beasts have glowing eyes, long tongues, and fearsome yellow fangs. The legend states that Wendigos were once humans who practiced cannibalism, and that triggered a transformation. The creatures are often part of certain North American indigenous cultures. In those belief systems, Wendigos are regarded as malevolent, supernatural beings. Thanks for watching this episode. Did you like the video? Tell us what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.